Hello students, welcome to Soroso classes. For detailed information about our classes, you can visit our website that is www.sorosoclasses.com or for other doubts and queries, you can just call us or WhatsApp us at this number 9836-793076. You can even like our videos and subscribe our channel for further more videos. Today, we're going to solve some problems on seating arrangement and here is our questions so the statement is given and here option one is elvin students a b c d e f g h i j and k are sitting in the first row of a class facing the teacher option two is d who is on the immediate left of F is second to the right of C. Option 3 is A is second to the right of E who is at one of the ends. J is the immediate neighbor of A and B and third to the left of G. And the fifth option and the last one is H is on the immediate left of D and third to the right of I. So here, let me draw the arrangement at first. Okay, let us assume that the teacher is in the north and all the students, all the 11 students are facing towards north. So this is north, south, east and west. So here are 11 students. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so here according to the information it is given that d who is on the immediate left of f is second to the right of C, A is second to the right of E, who is at one of the ends. So A must be, if A is right of C, of E, then E must be at the extreme left, that is E must be here. And it is given that A is second to the right of E, so A is here. The next point, uh, it is given that J is the immediate neighbor of A and B. So, J must be here and B must be sitting here. B and third to the left of G and third to the left of G. So, G must be here so that J can become the third left of G okay and the next point it is given that H is on the immediate left of D and third to the right of I let us assume that I is here so H must be here It was also given that D who is on the immediate left of F is second right, second to the right of C. So let us assume that F is here. That means D must be here and C must be here. So here the left one that is K must be sitting here. So this is the arrangement according to this information. And the question is who is sitting midway between E and G? So between E and G the mid one is there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 in number. So here between E and H that is here 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So that means B is the correct answer. So here B is the correct answer. So B is stating the midway between E and H. Okay, now let's proceed to the next question and that is which of the following statement is not true in the context of the above sitting arrangement which I have drawn here. Uh, so the first one is there are seven students sitting between K and D. Between K and D there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So This point is here is exactly seven students between K and D. So this point is right. Now the next one is G is the immediate neighbor of I and C. The next point is G is the immediate neighbor of I and C. It is also correct. The next one is H is the immediate neighbor of D and F. H is the immediate neighbor of D and F. This point is not correct because H is immediate neighbor of D but H is not an immediate neighbor of F. So option 3 is our correct answer. Okay now let's proceed to the next question and that is to obtain the respective seats of all the persons which statement given a verb is not required and the options are option one that is i option two that is two option three that is three option four that is four and option five that is all are the necessary so basically we need all the necessary informations to obtain the respective seats of all the persons with statement given a verb so here option 5 is the right answer so here the correct answer is option 5 okay here is the next question and this is besides e who among the following is at the extreme end so besides e f is at the extreme end so here the option 2 is the correct answer that is F okay here the next and last question is which of the following groups is at the left of I at the left of I which of the following groups which of the following group is seating so here the first option is A J B that is A J B here the first one is the correct answer. None of the among options are seating at the left as a group of I. So here the first option is the correct one that is A, J, B.